Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica and welcome to the Fan Carpet. To be honest, probably the moment I stepped, I stepped on set uh, for the first time because, I mean, you probably have that answer from everyone, but it, it really was. Uh, I, I play someone who exists over hundreds of years. So when I first walked into the first of our sets that was, was a pub in 1389, um, it, it looked, felt, smelled real and, and I saw uh, Tom and Kirby in costume for the first time and myself in costume for the first time and I thought, yeah, I think yeah, I think we're doing it. I think we're doing I think we're doing Sandman. Although they'd been filming for months and months and months, so I was quite a late comer, but for me, I I sort of in that moment when yeah, this is happening. This is real. Oh, that's lovely. Tom Tom is is what I would want to be if I were ever given the responsibility or the 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 chance to be a, a number one on a show. He's completely devoted to is he just there? He's completely yeah. devoted to it. He uh, takes it seriously, but not himself. He, um, it, you know, he's the person that when we were rehearsing said, you know, if we have to get up at four in the morning and come in to rehearse something, then I'll do that. Uh, and also because our, our, our dynamic on the show is basically two people gradually getting to know each other, it kind of felt like that. When we weren't shooting, we were sitting where we were when we were shooting, sitting on the same seats, um, working out how to be pals with each other. I think he's absolutely ace. I think he is... Uh, basically all you could dream of uh, to play dream um, and it was uh, if, if you're going to have a part where you basically interact with one person it, he's a good one to interact with not fully I, I share his enthusiasm for going at life full throttle um, I hope so in theory I do anyway I, probably in life I go in about second gear um, but I think probably after a couple of hundred years, I'd, I'd probably want to exercise my release clause. I, I think Neil's writing is completely fearless and it's um, unashamed and it, it's not scared to, well, I'm using synonyms basically, but he's, he's not afraid to take the biggest concepts uh, in all his writing and, and throw them into completely Domestic, potentially domestic circumstances, um, and and see how see what comes out. And I think that's what makes him completely special is that there's no attempt by him to dumb anything down. There's no attempt to uh, uh, take the sort of as you say the high philosophy out of stuff. Um, but he is. I think he's the master of the what if. He's the master of taking something huge and, and saying what if it was happening in front of you what would you do yeah I mean there's there's so 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 much and um, I, I if if I have the privilege to stick around and we have the privilege to stick around if I get to do Hobbs Leviathan I'll be a happy man yeah when 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 Hobbs at sea for for a whole issue I think it's just a, a wonderful beautiful episode in itself anyway but also I, I'd, I'd like to be on a boat because I really believe that there's no other collection of 10 hours of more or less of, of um, television that is as broad and wild and mad and huge and tiny as the sound. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more content next time.
on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.